Since the first Vanguard films were flown home by helicopter, more pictures have now arrived, showing the great battleship ploughing through heavy seas as she heads west from the Portuguese coast. The Royal Standard at her masthead was torn to ribbons by the gales and was later replaced. Despite the weather, the escorting destroyer St. James manoeuvred neatly alongside to take aboard the Vanguard's mail before returning home. The royal family watched the operation and afterwards sent good wishes to the destroyer, which had a very rough time. Visiting the rifle range on deck, their majesties and princesses saw members of the royal staff beat the navy in a friendly contest. The first day of sunshine was the signal for some welcome exercise and the king enjoyed several games of deck tennis with members of the crew while the queen and princesses looked on. Her Majesty the Queen makes a charming picture as she films her daughters at the shooting range. Both the princesses were in high spirits after the first stormy days of the voyage and thoroughly enjoyed the daily routine of the ship. Taking part in another shooting contest, the princesses were joined by their mother and father who entered thoroughly into the fun of the competition. Making friends with the princesses are Pip and Squeak, the two kittens recently born to Minnie, one of the twelve ship's cats. Great delight aboard the escorting warships followed the king's decision to visit the aircraft carrier Implacable. Accompanied by the queen and princesses, his majesty was piped aboard from the royal barge and saw for himself some typical activities of a great carrier at sea. too soon the royal family's time for rest and relaxation has gone by and before long Vanguard will arrive at Cape Town. All our thoughts are with His Majesty at the beginning of a mission of goodwill which none but he can carry out. Bound by the ties of loyalty and affection that unite the whole British Commonwealth, South Africa waits to pay homage to her King, whose devotion to duty has won the lasting gratitude of all his peoples. <laughs>